In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to recreate the Titan 6M. Very first thing that we're going to look at is our drawings. The basic shape of our part is going to be a circle with a 1 inch 950 thousandths diameter. We're going to extrude the circle down 750 thousandths. Moving on to sheet number two, we have a 1 inch 250 thousandths bolt hole circle with four bolts that reside on it with a 45 degree start angle. And then at the very top of our part, we have these uh, five islands on here, and those are also going to be tapped with threads. So let's jump into Fusion 360 and make this part. Very first thing is we're going to start with our circle. Notice our triad here, and we have our different planes that we can actually sketch onto. We're going to start on the top plane here and we're going to anchor the center of our circle right to our origin. We're going to type in our dimension of 1 inch 950 thousandths. Afterwards, we're going to right click, press and pull, click on our circle, and we're going to extrude this 750 thousandths. Moving on to sheet number two. Sheet number two, we have our bolt hole circle on the top of our part. So we're going to go C on the keyboard, and we're going to click on the top of the part. Make sure you're not clicking on these other planes over here, because that will give you your sketch on either the bottom of the part or on the front or right hand side. So click on the top of the part. We're going to go right from the, the origin again, and dimension out a 1 inch 250 thousandths circle. L on the keyboard. We're going to draw a straight line going vertical and make it coincident to the outside of our circle. And then we're going to make one going off at an angle, again making it coincident to the outside of the circle. We're going to change all three of those objects to construction lines. So by clicking on it and pressing X, we need an angle, our start angle, between these two lines here. So I'm going to go D on the keyboard, clicking on the line and the other line, and gesturing my mouse in between them, and then we will type in our measurement. Now that we have our start location here, we're going to pattern that by going to create and down to circular pattern. The object that we're going to pattern is this point right here. Our center point is our origin and we have four holes in total. And then press OK. Now that we have our locations, we're going to go H on the keyboard, which is the shortcut for holes. We're going to click on these four locations and then we're going to fill out our pop-up window here. These particular holes are just going to be a simple hole, so I'm going to change my hole type to simple. There are no threads in these holes, so I'm going to go simple again. And we can go to angle, that doesn't really matter. Now these threads go all the way through. Now I can type in a numerical value that's thicker than the uh, or longer than the distance of the part or where if you go up to extents you can go to all. And then this way if there was ever a revision made to the part you are 100% insured that regardless of how thick the part is those holes, holes will always go through the part. Underneath here, this dimension here is actually the diameter. We're going to type that in at 250 thousandths and then press OK. Now we have our holes.
Moving on to sheet number three. Sheet number three, we're going to put in these islands. We're going to do this um, using a circular pattern. We're going to go R on the keyboard and we're going to click on the top of the part. This time though in our sketch palette, we're going to click center rectangle. We're going to put our first one in the center here and the width of our rectangle is 375 thousandths. Tab will move up, jump us over to our next measurement and then press enter. We're going to repeat this process. Center rectangle. We're going to draw this one over to the sides. Same dimensions, 375 by 375, and then enter. Now, these two rectangles share a relationship. The relationship between these is the center locations are perfectly horizontal. So I'm going to add in that horizontal constraint. And then as stated on the blueprint, the distance between this line and this line is 275 thousandths. So I'm going to go D on the keyboard from line to line and type in 275 and then enter. Now before we pattern this, if you look at the detail B, these corners up here have a small little radius on them. I'm going to add that corner radius in now, um, which will help out. Actually, I'm going to disregard that. What we're going to do now is we're going to pattern this thing around. We're going to go to create and down to pattern. The objects that we're going to pattern is just this square right here. I'm going to left click and hold and I'm dragging my mouse over using a selection box. That way it selects all the geometry in here. We're going to select our center point and then change our quantity to four and then press OK. So very quickly, we went from two squares to now five squares, and they're perfectly dimensioned. We're going to right click and press and pull. We're going to press and pull the surrounding area here. And the distance that we're going to press and pull it is minus 250 thousandths. And then press enter. Now, the object that I was going to do before is if you look at that detail B is we do have a corner radius on all these. Now, you can go in and individually click on all 20 of these vertical lines, but there is a quicker way. We're going to come up to select and we are going to go to selection filters and we are going to go to unselect all and we are going to go to body edges now we're going to go to modify fillet hopefully this stayed on there um sorry so af after you go to fillet you're going to go to selection filters and we're just going to select all and just go to body edges we're going to orbit the part around and we're going to start from the right hand side, left click and drag and sorry, you need to make sure that your part is nice and straight. We're going to drag our selection box in here and you're only clicking on or selecting the edges that are running vertical. If you make your selection box go above it, it's also going to include the top of the part. 
So we're going to select only those lines and notice we have our 20 lines selected. And then we're going to type in our dimension of 10 thousandths and then enter. Now that we have our fillets in place, we're going to come over to our browser and then turn on the visibility of sketch number three. And this will give us the locations of where our holes need to be. H on the keyboard is the shortcut for holes. We're going to click on all five locations. And then we're going to fill out our pop-up window here. According to the print, our screws are going to be tapped for threads. There are, there's no chamfer stated on the thread, so we're going to leave that as a simple hole. These are going to run full threads through it. And then the size of our threads are 10 and 1032 and they are class 2B threads. The depth of our threads are going to be 150 thousandths. So we're going to update that information and then press OK. Afterwards you can turn the visibility of your sketch number 3 off and then you can come in and check your threads. Very last thing that we're going to do, we're going to come in and break all sharp edges using a chamfer. We're going to go to modify and down to chamfer. We're going to select the top of every single one of these squares here. The top of these through holes. The top of or the outside of our flange and then the bottom of the flange and the bottom of our holes. The distance of our chamfer is 10 thousandths of an inch and then press enter. This is a good opportunity. Double check your print and double check your part. Make sure that you've got all the features shown on your part. And this is also a good opportunity to save your part. This concludes our tutorial on how to make the Titan 6M.